Hi guys, how are you? I have my empties for March, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do those. I just have a bag full, I didn't organize them or anything like that, so just bear with me because I'm just grabbing out of there. I figured that would be the easiest thing to do. Also, you're set up on like a table tray on my bed and in my bedroom, um, so it might be a little bit shaky, so sorry. First, I have Winterfell from Teddy Bees. Um, and if you see the description on here, it's like an error. This is actually the description for um, Winter Farmhouse. But the, the scent is Winter Fell. She just put the wrong description on it. So this one is actually like blue sugar, Palo Santo, marshmallow fireside. It's really nice. She has a great blue sugar and a great Palo Santo. And this is, that's mostly what I smell. I do get a little bit of that sweet smokiness from the marshmallow fire side as well. Um, this is really good. It was like a seven or eight out of 10. I would get a loaf of this next time she offered it. I wish I had more of it. I wanted to hoard this, but I also wanted to kind of melt the rest of it. I melted this. It's been wild this month. These are all from the month of March. The first, I didn't do March empties at all. I normally try to divide them up into two weeks, so there's not so much, but like the first week of March, I was out of town on a work trip. So I just decided by the second week that I really didn't have that much. Um, but the first couple weeks of March, it like snowed here and it was super cold and now it's been super warm. So there's like a good mix, but I melted that one of the days that it snowed and it was really nice. Uh, next from Rose Girls, I have Goodnight Moon. Goodnight Moon is sweet lavender, peppermint, birthday cake, and pink sugar. This is like an amped up pink sugar peppermint type of scent. I like this a lot. Um, it's like, I feel like I've had a lot of like lavender peppermint pink sugar scents, but the birthday cake in this, she has a great birthday cake and it just amps it up. It makes it sweeter. It gives it a little bit of like a bakery note. Yeah, really good, super relaxing. Good night means a perfect name for it. It's good for bedtime. Um, I have Sweeney Todd from L3. I might have two of these, actually. This one is shaving cream, blue sugar, and vanilla patchouli. I love this scent. I have a scoop of love it, and I just got a mini loaf as well. Oh, it's so good. It's like the best cologne. I get the blue sugar. I get the patchouli. Shaving cream. Yeah, it's really just like a nice, like, fresh out of the shower, mince cologne type of scent. It's super clean really great and I love the fact that it's always red anytime I've ordered this it's been like red I think that was a um this is like a Halloween pumpkin the throw and that's like a 10 out of 10 every time a warm sweater from rainbow moths this one is warm vanilla sugar brown sugar fig and clean cotton so clean cotton I love uh, warm vanilla sugar I love and brown sugar fig is like one of my top favorite scents of all time I love it and this is so good and it smells so good on cold, but it's, it's from October and it didn't throw very well. It was weird with rainbow moths for me. Yeah, it was like maybe like a three out of 10. I really couldn't smell it at all. I tried, I put the last couple um, pieces of it in my bathroom and it was like a four or five out of 10 in that room, but not a strong thrower and I thought I would love that so much I got two of them so I have another one I don't know maybe if I let it sit a little longer if it'll do better another one for Mamba Melts is Bubbles this one is Lavender Bedtime Bath and Dove Soap this was really nice I remember it's just very soapy yeah it's very clean it's like Dove Soap Bubbles it smells like you're in like a bubble bath with maybe like a little bit of lavender essential oil. That one is really nice. I melted that one in my bedroom. I had a strong throw. It was like an eight or nine on this one. Here's another one from Rainbow Moths. This one is Christmas Clouds. I think I've talked about this one before. After I recorded my hair royal haul, I got my nails done yesterday. So now they're they're like oval shaped. I've never had them oval shaped before. Um, I've had like coffin shaped and like square, but I've never done oval. So I'm like, they feel so pointy. I'm like scared I'm going to put my eye out or something with them. But anyway, this one is Christmas Cuddles, Palo Santo, Cashmere Cream and Vanilla Lace. This is nice. I mainly small Palo Santo. 
in the cashmere cream. This is like an earthy fresh cologne. I don't get a lot of vanilla lace. There's not a lot of sweetness in here. But it's really cologne-y. It was a great bedroom scent. I motioned it in my bedroom. Um, really nice to throw on. It was like 8 or 9 out of 10 again. This one I just finished yesterday. This one is from L3. It's super old. Today is October 3rd. Um, beach nights. Sorry, I couldn't read it backwards in there. I did not like this. Um, I got a sample of today is October 3rd mixed with s'mores that I really liked. And I saw this loaf on the website. This is probably a year old. And I was like, oh, like I want to get that. That's probably really similar to s'mores and beach nights. Other s'mores than today is October 3rd, whatever. Um, and I just, I don't love beach nights. Like I went through a beach nights phase where I like was really into it. And then I wasn't after melting it a couple times and I purchased way too much of it. So, um, this is okay. Great. If you like beach nights, but not for me because I'm kind of not a huge beach nights fan. The throw on it was good. It was like a seven or eight out of 10. I melted the rest of it. Like I said, last night, um, after it was like a year old, it still smelled really good. It was still really strong, but um, not a repurchase. If I got any Beach Nights blends, I would get them in smaller quantities. I don't need like a huge amount of Beach Nights because I get sick of it so fast. From Hay and Row, I have Cedar Closet. This one is, I think, her shorts and sweater set mixed with cedar. Yeah, that, that's what it smells like. Um, it smells like her shorts and sweater. I said this yesterday when I did my haul. It's like it's like a warm cashmere linen type of scent, like a sweet linen. And then just like a cedar chest or my son upstairs in his closet. My friend's grandfather, when my daughter was, my oldest daughter was born, made her like a cedar chest. So he has that in his closet where he keeps his toys and stuff like that. So that's what this smells like to me whenever I open his closet and there's like clean clothes hung up and there's just his cedar chest in there. That one's nice. I love this one. This is from the Small Good Shop, and it's Night of the Shadows. I think there's two of these in here. This one is Sweet Apple Cider and Earthy Patchouli. Her Earthy Patchouli is amazing. Her patchouli is so good. Oh, this is so good. It smells, it's sweet, sweet apples. Like the apple cider is definitely like an apple cider, like fall, sweet, hot drink. And then her patchouli, it smells very dirty, like very outdoorsy. like very fresh and dark and deep this is really nice it smells like like if you were making apple cider in like a barrel like outside in the dirt and you're mixing it, it smells like an apple cider barrel this one is from zeep zeep this is phosphate this one is like pink sugar and i think orange soda so good. Any of her soda scents. I mainly smell like her fizzy soda scent, whatever that is. Um, any of her soda scents are amazing. She has the fizziest soda that I've ever smelled. This is so good. This is my second one of these. I just made an order from her and I ordered another soda scent. I love her lavender soda, but I ordered Bubble Up, which is like cherry coconut soda. It was really good. Um, her scoopables I find need to cure for a really long time though. Like I have this for almost a full year. I think this was from last year's spring release. Um, and it threw phenomenally this time, but I definitely could tell like each time as I melted it, it threw stronger. I have another scoopable here. Sorry. This one is Gilligan's Brew Peppermint and Shaving Cream from Scoopable Tart Box. And this is really good as well. This is, these are the scents in Winter Mermaid from Rose Girls who... Kathy that owns Scoopable Tart Wax, Jenny that owns Rose Girls as her daughter. Um, so I was like, okay, well, this is probably going to smell really similar to Winter Mermaid because that's one of my favorite scents, and it does. Oh, the peppermint and the shaving cream, it's like just a fresh, clean scent. And then her Gilligan's Brew is like a coconut cream scent, but it's like a sweet, 
it's really nice. You would not think that those three scents would go so well together, but this is definitely like a, like a fresh, minty, clean, like so relaxing. But it is coconutty, so if you don't like coconut, you're probably going not going to like this. Um, it's just like, it always smells like, like kind of like a date, like a date night at the beach or something like that, but like your husband is like freshly washed and shaven and like everyone's teeth are brushed and you're wearing like a nice coconutty perfume. I have from the bathing garden, Evergreen Hollow. This is just like a tree scent, an evergreen scent. I'm it in my bathroom. It was nice, it was strong. All I could smell was really just evergreen. Sugar and spruce, another one I melted when it snowed. This one is spruce, cedar, moss, balsam, vanilla sugar, and caramel butter. This smells like strawberries to me, I don't know why. I get like, I do get like a tree scent, but this smells like a and I know it's the caramel butter and vanilla sugar mixing with like the greenness that's giving off like that fruity scent, but it does not smell like, it's not a tree heavy sugared spruce. If you ever had the oil that's like very tree heavy, this is not it. This is definitely heavier on like the caramel and the vanilla. It's a very sweet, sweet sugared spruce. I have pink lemonade stand. I just smelled it this the other night. My kids had friends over there on spring break and they're getting ready to go back to school. Monday they'll go back. Uh, but they've had their friends and stuff here all week and I figured this would be like a nice one day when it was warm, like fun, kid-friendly scent. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was really great. It smelled like a cup of pink lemonade. Really nice. I like her lemonade scents a lot. Big Top Lemonade. If you've had Big Top Lemonade, this one is sweeter and has more of like a pink strawberry type of lemonade scent to it. Whereas Big Top Lemonade is, it's supposed to be yellow lemonade and pink lemonade mixed together, but um, it's not as like fruity as this one. I think this one might have watermelon in it. I think it's like strawberry, strawberry watermelon and lemonade, something like that. But this is more of like a fruity lemonade, but it was really nice. Let's be my crunch ice cream. I melted this in my bedroom. This was really great. This is similar. To Jack's Apple Frost, if you've ever smelled that from the bathing garden. It's definitely heavy on the spearmint. But then I did get apple. I didn't get, I don't know if there's supposed to be cinnamon here. But yeah, but it's just like a creamy green apple with spearmint. And it was really nice, really relaxing. A nice mint scent. Um, another one from the bathing garden I have is Cinderella would be jealous. This is a lush snow cake type. If you ever smell lush snow cake, it smells like an almond, like a nutty almondy. It's supposed to be like a marzipan type of scent, but it really smells. Sorry, Maples. She's up. She's laying on the bed, but now she's moving. Um, it smells like a nutty almond soap to me. Like it's not. It's not like a foodie scent. It's definitely more of like an, a marzipan soap. And it's heavy on the, sorry, it's heavy on the almond. Um, but it was really nice. It was like a nice, like relaxing, clean, almondy type of scent. Next is circus cake. This one is blue raspberry and cake mixed together. I think it's like white cake and buttercream. And this is really good. This is one of my favorite scents. Um, I love this. I'm like a big like I'm a huge sucker for like blue raspberry mixed with cake. There's one from South Bell that I really like as well, but this was really good. Um, I think I ordered, a, I just ordered a couple more when I ordered from her circus collection and this, the throw on it, it's not super strong. It was like a seven out of 10, but it was just really good. Sippy Lufu from the bathing garden. One of my favorite scents of all time. I love this one. This one is like, it smells like, kind of like baby powder to me. It's like lavender, lilacs, vanilla. It kind of smells like, um, 
Is it Lilac and Vanilla from Bath and Body Works? I have the gins with me over there. Um, but yeah, it's like that. It's just like a sweet, creamy vanilla and then mixed with lilac and lavender. It's really good. It's a great bedtime set. It's really clean and just fresh. And um, this is part of her Christmas line, but it's like perfect for spring because of those floral notes in it. And it is a nice one. Like if you don't love floral, I feel like you would still like that if you like clean scents. Drucial Cooking from Rose Girls. This one's supposed to be like a coffee cake scent. This is like, to me, it smells close to zucchini bread, but whatever it is I don't like about zucchini bread is not in this. This is like creamier, spicier. Um, it has like more of a baked good scent to it, I guess. And whereas zucchini bread has like that weird, like, Frito type of scent to it. This is missing that. So this is good. It does smell just like a coffee cake. Um, maybe it's like the zucchini bread without the zucchini. I don't know. Really nice. Throws really strongly. That one is like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Shy Guy from Rose Girls. This one is Spearmint Pine and Shaving Cream. I love this. I could smell all three of those things equally. It was super strong. This is like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. It was just like fresh, clean, masculine. Um, and a little bit minty. Let it snow from Rainbow Melts. Again, I melted this one when it snowed. This one is Sweet Snow Peppermint Swizzle Sticks and Frosted White Cake. This just smells like the cleanest, freshest vanilla. Like, it smells like a vanilla bean. Like, it smells, or like vanilla bean ice cream, kind of. I don't get the mint in there, like those peppermint swizzle sticks, but it, I think it just freshens it up. It really smells like, like, yeah, like vanilla bean ice cream. I think I said the last time I melted this, like, it smells like you made, like, snow ice cream with fresh snow when you put, like, sugar and milk and vanilla in it. That one's really nice. Fortune teller from Hino. I loved this one. When I ordered this, I saw that this one was, like, um... I can't remember what all was in it, but that there was patchouli in it, and I thought this was going to be like an incense scent, which I ordered because I like incense scents, and it's maybe like, like some floral notes, patchouli, sage, I'm not really sure, but I expected it to be a lot different than it was. What this smells like to me... It smells like my great grandma. It smells like um, really worn clothes that are like clean, but they've been washed like a lot of times. Um, or like a quilt or a blanket that's just been washed over and over and over again. And it's like, it's like very worn and it's like hanging out on the line to dry. This is definitely more of like a linen scent to me. It smells like clothes. And that might just be from like personal um, life experiences like that it reminds me of my great grandma. God rest her soul. Um, yeah, it does, like I don't get like an herbally incense scent from this. I get more of like, like nuzzled up in somebody's sweatshirt or a blanket type of scent. But it's good. I would order a loaf of that if I saw it on Henry's website again because I loved it so much. Like I said, it, like it reminded me of my grandma. I was like super like cozy and warm. It just wasn't what I was expecting, but I was pleasantly surprised. This one is from The Bathing Garden. It's a large clam and lavender vanilla custard. I loved this so much. I got another one when I just ordered from her circus order. Like this is like a super herbal lavender and it, when I ordered this it even had like lavender <laughs> buds on it um they're gone now obviously yeah, it's like a super herbal lavender but then with like a sweet vanilla custard and the custard is not eggy at all it's like a creme brulee almost like it but it's not like eggy it's not like sometimes when I think of custard I think of pudding and sometimes when I get pudding scents like they give me this like ick in the back of my throat that's not like this at all. Just sweet creamy custard mixed with like a super herbal lavender. Very nice. Okay. 
this one from the bathing garden. This was just a sample. I melted it in my bedroom. Um, strawberry drizzled fried Oreo. This is nice. It was just like kind of a chocolate covered strawberry scent. Yeah, like a milk chocolate and strawberry is what it smells like to me. But it was really good. It was really strong. Um, I kept thinking like, oh my gosh, like what is that really good smell? And it was this. I just smelled it. It was a small sample and I just smelled it in a tea light warmer, but it did great. I have Bora Bora Satsuma and Cotton Candy from Elf Mary. I don't like Bora Bora, but I liked this. I can mainly smell Satsuma and Cotton Candy, and I love Satsuma and Cotton Candy mixed together. Yeah, it was really nice. It was just like a super sweet cotton candy, orangey kind of scent. Bora Bora, I think, has too. I don't like tropical fruits. Like, I'm not a huge fruity person. Um... Sorry, my son's messaging me from his iPad. I can see it on there. Um, yeah, I have this. This is Apple Mango Tango. It's like a pillow spray, a concentrated room spray. It just smells like Apple Mango Tango laundry detergent. It's really nice. I really love these room sprays. I've talked about them before from that small good shop. I think that was my last one. I need to order more. I like to spray them on my couches and my curtains and stuff. Um, from Scoopable Tart Wax, I have Tranquil Moments. This is great. I want to see if she has any more of this on her website, actually. This is fresh linen infused with lavender and sprinkled with dewdrops. This is the freshest scent you have ever smelled in your life. It is so fresh. It really smells like a fresh spring morning and you like go outside and there's grass and there's clothes hanging on the line and like everything is covered in dew and there's flowers blooming. Like this is so fresh perfect for springtime at one point she had loaves of this on her site so i need to see if she has like at least a couple more scoopables of this because i would totally get this in a loaf i love this so much it's like perfect for just like spring cleaning or a day when you had your windows open it smells like fresh air love black magic woman from the melted mousse this one is french lavender egyptian amber tonka myrrh and sweet magic fizz i really like this this is like a lavender, like a lavender fizzy pop type of scent. But it's not like sweet at all. Like it's not like a lavender fizzy pop where you get like a lot of lemon and lime and fruity sweetness. It's like a lavender lemon fizzy that's kind of sour. But then I also, the longer this smells, I get like that amber and tonka and myrrh really come out where it's almost like... Lavender and fizzy pop die down, and you get a lot of like herbal incense y type of scents. It's really cool. It's a really cool scent. I've never smelled anything like this from another vendor. I actually have a loaf of this that I'm really happy to have because this is just so great. It really, Black Magic Woman really is like a perfect name for it. It's like very like magical. Um, this is another one I melted when it was snowing. This one is Holiday. Some teddy bees. I'm really excited. My teddy bees pre-order. I think they're shipping around like in the next couple of days. Maybe they're supposed to be here around like mid-April. So I'm so excited. And then she's going to do a pre-order, which I'm also obviously excited about. So this one is the scent of Ruth hanging cookies, baking, winter garland in a warm fireplace. And this is really good. I get a lot of the Reese and winter garland it smells heavy on like like a wreath slash berry type of scent when I got this I said there was a lot more berry in it than I was anticipating but I really liked that I think this could be an all-year scent I don't think I necessarily would need to be like a wintertime scent because the pine is not heavy it's like a sweet berry cookie um and then a little bit of pine in the background I don't get a little warm fireplace either But it is really nice. If you have ever smelled Santa Claus is coming to town from her, that smells like this. But this, again, like I said, has more of like a berry or a wreath cranberry. I don't know if it's cranberry or what type of scent in it, but there's definitely some cranberry in there. I heard vanilla peppermint. This is another one I really like. This one smelled just like a peppermint milkshake. Like it, oh, well, I guess I could tell you this in notes. Um, creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallows and magnolias, which is her boardwalk marshmallow, cloud stoop, and then blended with peppermint candy. 
yeah this smelled, it smelled like ice cream mixed with like peppermint oil and crushed candy canes in there and then like whipped cream on top of it it was super creamy and light and airy mixed with vanilla mixed with that peppermint really really good it smelled exactly like a marshmallow milkshake or a peppermint marshmallow milkshake um, the throw on it wasn't super strong. It was like a 5 or 6 out of 10. But I would probably still get this again. If she offered it again. Because I did. I did really like this scent a lot. I have one more. Gingerbread ice cream cake. Well one more from Teddy Bees. This one is. Sweet buttercream layered between white cake and vanilla ice cream. Loaded with loads of gingerbread crumbs. My soap's going off. If you can hear it. I have um crab cakes in there that I'm making for my husband and I. But crab cakes take forever to cook so hey will you take those out hmm? will you take those out he's coming they take forever to cook so i'm like okay let's just stay in there a little longer they take like 45 minutes um okay so next gingerbread ice cream cake this was really good it was heavy on the gingerbread i love gingerbread but then there was also like the white cake and the buttercream this smelled like, if you ever had like those molasses gingerbread cookies that people make around Christmas time, they like put powdered sugar on top of them and they like put buttercream between them, like icing, and it makes like a cookie sandwich and the cookies are like soft, the gingerbread cookies are, that's what this smells like. It was really nice and it was really strong. I wish I would have got a loaf of this. If she offers this again next Christmas, I'll get a loaf of it. It was perfect. I think that was the second I think, um, I think I had a souffle and then I ordered that. Okay, I'm almost done here. I got just a couple more things. The Enchanted from the bathing garden. I must have this in my bathroom. It was weird. I don't know what's supposed to be in it. It was a floral scent, but it smelled like a musky older lady perfume. It was okay for a bathroom. I wouldn't repurchase it. London Fog from Teddy Bees. This is my last of this. Earl Grey tea, lavender milk, and a hint of boardwalk marshmallow clouds. This is great. You get Earl Grey tea first, and then there is like a little bit of lavender and like a creamy vanilla. It smells like somebody is like drinking a cup of Earl Grey tea and they have like a pretty like lavender vanilla perfume on. Yeah, and they're like wearing like a nice cashmere sweater and everything is just warm and pretty and lovely another night of shadows i already talked about that this one it's like sweet apple cider and earthy patchouli again her patchouli freaking amazing this i heard people talk about this night the melted mousse i got this as an example a sample it's key lime pie and i heard people talk about this and i don't like key lime pie so i like never ordered it or paid much attention but i melted this sample in my bathroom one it lasted like four days like non-stop in my bathroom and two, it was just the best scent. It definitely like had lime in it, but it was heavy or on like the bakery note. Like, like it was like a creamy, like pie crust cookie type of scent with a lime. It was amazing. And it was amazing like all four days. I loved this. I hope I can still order this from her because next time I do a custom, I'm going to get that. It was so freaking good. It was like just sweet bakery heaven. And I don't even like mine. The sweetest thing from the bathing garden. Another one I melted in my bathroom. I think this is a rock star dude, but it smells like rock star. It's definitely a blush dupe of something, but I think it's rock star. Maybe. If you know, let me know. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was just like a sweet kind of bubblegummy jasmine type of scent. I have a hard time like her or not her but luscious like snow fairy rock star those pink type of um soapy scents i have a hard time distinguishing between them but if you've ever smelled any of those or if you know luscious rock star snow fairy it was similar to that butterbeer from l3 i just smelled it this last night i melted it in a tea room in my bedroom and i fell asleep so i don't remember if it was good or not but it's basically just like a butter scratch scent very sweet nice I couldn't smell this morning when I woke up. <sighs> Salty Siren from the Bathing Garden. This used to be my favorite margarita scent. 
my now favorite margarita scent is Heat Wave from Salt Mountain Melts. Amazing, please. If when she does her next restock, uh, like vote for that because that is the best margarita scent of all time. But this one is also good. And it's not that I like that one better than this one. They're just very different. Like that one is like a juicy, salty margarita scent as to where this one is like a lime busy margarita scent. Yeah, it's really good. This one's really strong. Um, it's like a salty lime with a fizz to it. It's great. Um, I didn't mean to make this about heat wave from Salt Mountain Mouths, but um this one is great too. They're both great scents, and I would reorder both of them. Just the other one is a more realistic one. But this one's it's heavier on the lime. Very limey. This one's also like fresher. I love I, I think I melted this one after I made tacos. I love like if I make something especially tacos to melt a margarita scent specifically this one because it's super strong and it just kind of clears out the air with the citrus winter wonderland another one i melted at the start of the month bergamot eucalyptus cranberry clove sheer woods and amber this one smells like eucalyptus and uh weird woods i smell a lot of eucalyptus but it was really nice. I melted this in my bathroom and I have like eucalyptus hanging from my shower. So I love to melt eucalyptus in there because it like just adds to the, the whole vibe that I have with my eucalyptus. It was really nice. I didn't get like cranberry and clove and all of that though. I mostly eucalyptus and like pine. Victorian carousel in the bathing room. Melted this in my bedroom. And now I'm sorry. I can't. This is like at the beginning of the month. I can't remember what this smells like. I definitely smell berries. I think it's like berries and cotton candy. It was nice. It was, she has a lot of scents like this that kind of just, I group in my head in the same like, like division or whatever that are like berry lemonade, berry cotton candy. A lot of them come out with her circus collection, which I get. I mean, how many circus scents can you have? But I'm, I don't like berry scents enough that I can distinguish them from another. But if you like that type of scent, that's a good one. Ooh, the Melted Mousse. Lilacs Laundry and Lemonade. No, Lilacs Lemonade and Laundry. This one says Powdery Fresh Lilacs, Pink Lemonade, and Clean Cotton. I loved this. I didn't even realize how much I loved it until I melted it. Like, it's been sitting there forever, and I've just been looking over it. Oh, this is so good. I get the Clean Cotton first in this. And then I get the Lilacs. I don't necessarily, like get lemonade but it is just again so fresh just like the tranquil moments that i was talking about like the first day it was warm this month like i opened up all the doors and windows and like i had cleaned and there was like fresh air coming in and i put this on and this just like was like fresh clean air and it's like sweet and floral this is really good. If you like laundry scents, or even if you just like fresh, like clean scents, I think you would really like this. It's perfect for like a windows open type of day. Dreamweaver from Teddy Bees. Flannel sheets, soft lavender, and a hint of vanilla and peppermint. This mainly smells like flannel sheets to me. Still now smelling it. I don't get a lot of lavender. I heard people say this smells like Dove soap, and I could see that too. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of flannel sheets, but I love flannel sheets. I loved this. I would probably honestly repurchase this or any other flannel sheets blend from her. Good. I love Teddy Bees. Her wax throws great. That one throws like 9 out of 10. Oh, I'll save this one for last. Under the covers from Hayden Row. This was just a sample I melted into my bedroom. Cinnamon, clove, pine, leather, cedar, apple cider, and black peppercorn. This did not smell like any of those things to me. It did smell like apple. It smelled like apple and cedar. But the clove and the other things like that I didn't get. I do get the leather. But if you didn't tell me there was leather in this when I was melting it, like I would not know. When I was smelling it prior to melting it, I was like, oh yeah, there's leather in it. But it mainly smells like apple. 
it kind of almost smells like a like apple like apple mango tango like an apple laundry detergent you would think reading all of these things that it would be like a very like deep dark like fall type of scent but it really wasn't yeah it was like a fresh apple laundry time kind of scent to me um and then this is the last one this is from southbound lavender orange soda this is like my favorite scent of all time and i'm sad because this is the last gum show i had of it i want her to restock this again this is so good her lavender i've talked about this before it's like the coconutty sweet like it's super well blended to me people say it smells like baby wipes i don't think it does but it's definitely like clean and then mixed with orange it's like an orange dreamsicle it's not a sharp for like sharp orange juice it's like creamy orange and then like fizzy this just hits like everything that i want to send to hit for me oh it's so good it's like relaxing and fizzy and calm and a little bit fruity like this is so good and i'm sad that it's gone but it was a year old so it was time i didn't want it to like lose scent um but yeah if you if you like this one another good one is her oh my gosh kentucky waxy girl i think talks about this being like her favorite scent is it sweet sweet dream birthday cake i don't know it's like lavender orange cake scent that she does that one is really good too those are both like she doesn't offer that in like two years um but those are both really up there for me so if you like this kind of scent maybe request it so i can get more of it in our facebook group that's it that's all i have um that felt like a lot of empties but nothing left in my bag so if you guys made it this far thanks for watching i'm gonna do um an april melting basket I am going to get caught up on watching some of you guys' videos. I've been really, really busy, um, like the last, like, two and a half months. I'm in school, if you don't know. I'm a nurse. I work on my master's degree for my, um, PHF and, er, psychiatric mental health nurse practice degree is what I'm working on because I'm a behavioral health nurse. Um, so yeah, I was recently in pharmacology and it was like kicking my butt. Like it was really a really difficult class, but I passed it now. I moved on to another class that's a little bit um, less like strenuous. So I have a little bit more free time than I have the last couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, so I need to get caught up on watching other people's videos and doing all that good stuff. I'm getting ready. Me and my husband are going to put a koi pond, I think, in our side yard this week. So Maybe I'll post pictures of that on Instagram or something. And I hope you guys have a good week. It's Saturday, so I don't know if I'll record my April melting basket before Sunday. But if I don't, I hope you all have a good week. And thanks for watching.